And welcome to this brief video from Frontier Video. Now, this video has been made for um, my friend, um, who is the admin of the Autism in Scotland group. Um, her name is Teresa. I'm not going to say her full name for obvious security reasons. So, in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to change the floppy disk drive on a Compaq Armada 1750. Now, I said that it was about as easy as taking one mug out of the cupboard and putting another one in its place. Now, to actually change the floppy drive, what you do is um, there's a wee latch at the bottom. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the laptop to the edge of the desk. Now, there's a wee latch up here, and then there's a um, wee bit of plastic at the bottom that you can grip onto. Literally, all you do is you pull this wee latch down, and then pull it out. There you are. <clears throat> now, um, then you get your replacement drive, and then you literally push it in until it clicks, like so. And then, just to check it's working, what we're going to do is we'll get, um, well, not this disc because it's um, the uh, metal plates coming off, I'm not going to use that disc. I'm going to get a floppy disc. Um, of sorts. Okay, the the DOS driver to a CD-ROM, but it could be any disk. It could be a disk of all your Word documents on. And then let's just access it, just to make sure it's working. Go to my computer. There we are. And that is the floppy disk drive changed. So, Teresa, you can now replace the floppy drive on your Compaq Armada 1750. Um, the Compaq Armada 1750, which I don't believe you have. But if you did have one, it would um, probably be designed for Windows 98. Okay, um, so this is me signing off. Um, thank you for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel.